cross is so much a part of the life of Jerusalem that without it, Jerusalem would be incomplete. Centuries ago, Christians congregated at those sites which had been made holy by the presence of Jesus Christ our Lord. Around the 4th century, Egeria, the famous Spanish pilgrim lady, tells us about the religious service of this type among them. By the end of the days of the Crusaders already, there was a well-defined route. And in the 16th century, it was known as the Via Dolorosa. In 1880, the Franciscan friars in Jerusalem again took up the custom of publicly walking and praying along the Via Crucis. Everyone knows how the Via Crucis begins with the condemnation of Jesus to death and ends with the resurrection. In Jerusalem, the end takes place right at the front of the empty tomb where the angel said, He is not there. He has risen. Today, every Friday afternoon at 3, people in the streets of Jerusalem can watch the procession of brown-robed Franciscan friars with the white cords went its way through Jerusalem streets from the place where the Roman fortress Antonio stood to Calvary. A packed crowd of faithful pilgrims follow prayerfully. They come to Jerusalem from all parts of the world so they can celebrate the memory of Christ's passion, death and resurrection. Now, Brother Francis Xavier, the commissary of the Holy Land in India, with the help of Tala, the Franciscan Media Center India, makes available a rare visual experience for you to celebrate the memory of the passion, suffering, death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in whatever place you find yourselves. You find in this videography the biblical texts prayers with photos of the actual sights and scenes in Jerusalem itself as the Via Dolorosa is relived in the midst of crowds of people with the divergent beliefs. Via Dolorosa, the way of the cross. At the cross a station keeping to the mournful mother Close to Jesus to the last. First station. Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The Franciscan way of the cross begins at the Umaria school, which was once the Antonia fortress. It is a vast military garrison built by Herod the Great, north of the temple compound, with a commanding view of the temple environment. This fortress housed some part of the Roman garrison stationed at Jerusalem, especially during the feasts, to control the crowd. Then Pilate released Barabbas to them, but he had Jesus flogged and handed him over to be crucified. Let us pray. O Lord, you know that because of our human weakness, we cannot resist the serious dangers we are exposed to. So give us health of mind and body so that with your help we can overcome the temptations we suffer from because of our sins. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Through her heart is sorrow sharing all his bitter anguish bearing. Now at length the sword had passed. Second station. Jesus carries his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The second station of the cross is at the Franciscan monastery called as the Flagellation Monastery. There are two chapels in this site, the Chapel of the Crowning of Thorns and the Chapel of the Condemnation. The Chapel of the Crowning with Thorns. The stained glass windows depict the scenes of Jesus being bound and flogged and Barabbas being released. The ceiling of the chapel contains a mosaic art in gold with the thorny crown in the middle. There are also shining stars here and there. This represents that Christ reached his glory through humiliation and painful death. The Chapel of the Condemnation It is here Christ takes up his cross. This chapel also contains a dice game inscribed on the floor. Markings in the paving stones indicating a dice game known as the King's Game. The players took a different identity. Slaves were considered free men. During the game, the prisoner condemned to death was chosen to be the king for the day. He could do whatever he wanted for that day, but at sundown he would be killed. So the soldiers took charge of Jesus. Carrying his own cross, he went out to the place of the skull, which in Aramaic is called Golgotha. Let us pray. O God, the strength of those who trust in you, mercifully hear our prayers. And because without you, our mortal weakness is incapable of anything, grant us the help of your grace, that in fulfilling your commandments, we may please you both in will and in deed. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Oh, how sad and so distressed now was she that mother blessed of the soul begotten one. Third station. Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. This site marks the spot where, according to tradition, Jesus falls for the first time under the heavy cross. This chapel was constructed by the Armenian Catholics who though ethnically Armenian, 
are actually based in Poland. In 1947 to 48, renovations to the 19th century chapel were carried out with the aid of a large financial grant from the Polish army. And yet ours were the sufferings he bore, ours the sorrows he carried. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, in Christ you have revealed your glory to all nations. Guard the works of your mercy that your church spread over the whole world may with constant faith persevere in the confession of your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Christ above in torment hangs, she beneath beholds the pangs. Of the dying glorious Son. Fourth Station Jesus Meets His Mother We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Fourth station is done in front of an oratory, over the door of which a small lunet with a half bust of Christ and his mother. On the altar inside the oratory, is the meeting of Jesus and his mother represented in marble. The New Testament makes no mention of a meeting between Jesus and his mother during the walk to his crucifixion, but the popular tradition introduces one. The fourth station, the location of a 19th century Armenian Catholic oratory, commemorates the events of this tradition. In the crypt, level with the ancient street, some bits of which have been found on the northern side, is a great piece of mosaic which was discovered while digging the foundation of the church. A square framed in a rich border bears in the center a representation of two feet pointing Northwest. This spot marks the place where the Blessed Virgin stood when she exchanged a look with her son. The sorrow of Jesus meets the sorrow of Mary. This child is destined to cause the fall and rise of many in Israel and to be a sign that will be spoken against so that the thoughts of many hearts will be revealed. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, in Christ you have revealed your glory to all nations. Guard the works of your mercy that your church spread over the whole world may with constant faith persevere in the confession of your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Is there one who Dear Mother, to behold. Fifth 
station, the Cyrenian helps Jesus carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The fifth station refers to the biblical episode of Simon of Cyrene being forced to carry the cross of Jesus. He was a native of Cyrene in Libya, North Africa. From his dress and the provisions he carried with him for the Pascha, the soldiers saw that he was a stranger employed at servile labor. This was ample excuse for obliging him to perform one of those forced services which the legionaries imposed upon provincial inhabitants. Next to the entrance is an ancient stone with a dent, which, according to tradition, was formed when Jesus laid his hand on it as he passed through the street on the way to Golgotha. As they led Jesus away, they seized Simon from Cyrene, who was on his way in from the country, and put the cross on him and made him carry it behind Jesus. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus Christ, when the world was growing cold, in order to inflame our hearts with the fire of your love, you renewed the sacred marks of your passion on the body of the most blessed Francis. Mercifully grant that by his merits and prayers we may always bear our cross and bring forth fruits worthy of penance. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Can the human heart refrain from partaking in the pain? Sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A fragment of a pillar inserted into the wall marks the sixth station of the way of the cross. According to tradition, this was the house of Veronica. Seeing the sweat and blood on Jesus, she brought a veil and wiped his face. In return, she got the image of the face of Jesus imprinted on the veil. Tradition has it that it was none other than the woman who was 12 years under an issue of blood and had been cured by touching the fringe of Jesus' garment. In gratitude for such healing, she did this act of kindness. The name Veronica may not have been her true name. Vera Icone means true image. From this must have derived her name, Veronica. Without beauty, without majesty, we saw him. No looks to attract our eyes. A thing despised and rejected by men. A man of sorrows and familiar with suffering. A man to make people screen their faces. He was despised and we took no account of him. Let us pray. 
O God, to those who go astray, you display the light of your truth, that they may return into the way of righteousness. Grant to all those who profess themselves Christians, both to avoid the things which are contrary to that name, and to follow those which are agreeable thereto. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Bruce derided, cursed, defiled, she beheld her tender child. All with bloody scourges Seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. From the sixth station, the Via Dolorosa ascends rapidly. Jesus must have become too tired and his strength spent on climbing the ascent, he falls for the second time. The second fall is represented by the current seventh station located at a major crossroad junction adjacent to a Franciscan chapel built in 1875. According to Christian tradition, the seventh station marks the spot where a gateway called Porta Uricalis, the gate of judgment or justice gate in the ancient wall once stood, through which Jesus was taken out of the city. It was here the accusations of those condemned to death were published. Yet he was pierced through for us. Our... Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, you have shown your glory to all nations in Christ your Son. Guide the work of your church. Help it to persevere in faith. Proclaim your name and bring your salvation to people everywhere. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. For the sins of his own nation, so him hang in desolation. Till his spirit forth he sent. Eighth station. Jesus meets the holy women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The eighth station commemorates the biblical episode which is mentioned only in the Gospel of Luke. At the sight of the man of sorrows dragged to execution, a group of women cried aloud, wailing and beating their breasts. The law forbade such signs of sympathy to those about to be crucified, but to the compassion to which they gave utterance was one of those moments which no ordinance can crush. The present eighth station is adjacent to the Greek Orthodox monastery of Saint Shalampus. 
It is marked by the letters IC and XC are the first and last letters of Jesus Christ, sometimes known as a Christogram. The letters NIKA means conquers, so the meaning is Jesus Christ conquers. A large number of people followed him, including women who moaned and wailed for him. Jesus turned and said to them, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, weep for yourselves and for your children. For if men do these things when the tree is green, what will happen when it is dry? Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, long ago you gave your promise to Abraham and his posterity. Listen to your church as we pray that the people you first made your own may arrive at the fullness of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The third fall is represented by the current ninth station, located at the entrance to the Ethiopian Orthodox Monastery and the Coptic Orthodox Monastery of St. Anthony. We had all gone astray like sheep, each taking his own way, and Yahweh burdened him with the sins of all of us. Let us pray. Bring to life, O Lord, the spirit of piety in your church, and its vigour, so that we may generate worthy ministers of your altar and staunch promoters of your word. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Make me feel as thou hast felt. Make my soul to glow and melt. With the love of Christ, my Lord. Holy Sepulchre. Entering the main door of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, we find ourselves at the foot of Calvary. We ascend the 14 steps to the Holy Hill. The site of the crucifixion was a rocky hill about four and a half meters high, the summit of which was bare and rounded in shape, which earned for it the Greek name Golgotha, which means a skull. Tenth station. Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The chapel of the Division of Garments is located outside at the entrance of the Holy Sepulchre. 
but we as we climb the steps to the calvary we pray the 10th station from inside the calvary there are mosaic depiction of abraham trying to sacrifice isaac and women weeping they took his clothes dividing them into four shares one for each of them with the undergarment remaining let us pray almighty and eternal god you keep together those you have united look kindly on all who follow jesus your son we are all consecrated to you by our common baptism make us one in fullness of faith and keep us one in the fellowship of love through christ our lord amen have mercy on us o lord have mercy on us may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of god rest in peace amen holy mother pierce me through in my heart each wound renew of thy savior Seventh station. Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Eleventh station. they crucified him these three words include as description of the most fearful torture stretched upon his bed of death jesus was fastened to the wood of the cross by nails through his hands and feet usually they bind the limbs to the cross in order to keep the feet and hands from slipping off the nails sometimes the feet are only bound with cords but the feet of jesus were nailed then they offered him wine mixed with myrrh but he did not take it and they crucified him let us pray almighty and everlasting god You appointed your only begotten son to be redeemer of the world and you willed to be appeased by his blood. Grant we beseech you that we may so venerate the price of our redemption and by its power be so defended from the evils of this present earthly life that we may enjoy its fruit forever more in heaven through christ our lord amen have mercy on us o lord have mercy on us may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of god rest in peace amen let me share Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. 
This is a Greek Orthodox chapel. Below the altar, there is a disc with an opening in the center which covers the place where the cross of Jesus was fixed. On the right of the altar, we can see a split of 15 centimeters in the rock. This was caused by an earthquake when our Savior died on the cross. It was now about the sixth hour, and darkness came over the whole land until the ninth hour. For the sun stopped shining, and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Jesus called out with a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. When he had said this, he breathed his last. Let us pray. We who feed on the body and blood of Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom the banner of the Holy Cross was sanctified, beseech you, O Lord our God, that since we have deserved to venerate that same holy sign, it may be ours to enjoy forever the effect of its saving glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Let me mingle tears with thee, mourning him who mourned for me. All the days that I may live. 13th Station Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Between the 11th and 12th stations stands the Latin altar of the Stabat Mater, the mother was standing. This is the place of the 13th station. Over the altar is a beautiful statue of wood of the 16th to 17th century of the Mater Dolorosa, Mother of Sorrows, which was sent in 1778 from Lisbon, Portugal. The statue is covered with the wealth of jewels of gold and votive offerings of princes and, and the thank offerings of pilgrims. Later, Joseph of Arimathea asked Pilate for the body of Jesus. Pilate agreed. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus Christ, we offer you our prayers and sacrificial gifts. May we who commemorate the piercing of the soul of Blessed Mary, your mother, share the reward of the saints through her loving and constant intercession and the prayers of those who stood with her beside the cross, as well as through your meritorious death. You live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. By the cross with thee to stay, Station. 
Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We enter the rotunda and proceed to the Holy Sepulchre. Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus were in a hurry to bury Jesus because of the Sabbath. Joseph owned a garden there and a tomb hollowed out of the rock. He consecrated it to the Master's service. First, we enter a small vestibule, the chapel of the angel, because it was here that the angel sitting on a stone, announced the resurrection of the Lord. An arched doorway leads into the tomb proper. To the right, a marble slab marks the burial place of Jesus Christ. In 2016, October, an archaeological investigations were carried out in the tomb of Christ. The stone slab which was placed there in 1555 was removed only that time. After the investigation, the archaeologists have confirmed that the church was roughly in the same place that it was when it was built 2000 years ago. Taking Jesus' body, the two of them wrapped it with the spices in stripes of linen this was in accordance with Jewish burial customs. At the place where Jesus was crucified, there was a garden, and in the garden a new tomb in which no one had ever been laid, because it was the Jewish day of preparation, and since the tomb was nearby, they laid Jesus there. Let us pray. Send down your abundant blessing, O Lord, upon your people who have devoutly recalled the death of your Son in the sure hope of the resurrection. Grant them pardon, bring them comfort. May their faith grow stronger and their eternal salvation be assured. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Virgin, no for virgins blessed, listen to my Let me share thy grief divine. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, may the Lord give you peace. I am Father Francis Xavier, OFM, the Commissary of the Holy Land in India. In the year 1342 AD, Pope Clement VI promulgated two bulls, Gratias Agimus, We Give Thanks, and Nuper Carissime, some time ago. By this, the Pope appointed the Franciscans as the custodians of the Holy Land. Since then, we have taken care of the Holy Land faithfully. The custody of the Holy Land consists of Israel, Palestine, Egypt, Kingdom of Jordan, Lebanon, Syria, Iraq, Cyprus and Rhodes. There are about 300 friars and about 100 sisters serving in these countries. 
in order to continue this noble task of caring for the holy places, we need the support of the Christian faithful. The collection that is made on Good Fridays is the main source for the care of the Holy Land. By contributing generously, every one of you participate in the care of the holy places in which God revealed himself and walked the earth in the person of Jesus Christ. Kindly do your part in preserving the holy places and all the ministries that the custody of the Holy Land does. May the Lord bless you.